Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome to Hylix 2. Um, I played Hylix sometime last year, and it was honestly one of my favorite games that I played last year at all. Um, <clears throat> I uh, went so far as to say, oh, that's so clean. Little, uh, little Hensonian here. Let me see. Game does the thing where it uh, where it freezes whenever you're out of it. What? I gotta get used to remember that this is the new normal. So, Hylix Two is one of my favorite games that I played last year. Um, I really, really liked it, and I was thinking about replaying. And I was like, "There's another Hylix. Why don't I just play it?" Because it's a good game. Okay. Is it jump now? Okay. Is it? This is, this is different. Do I just click? Oh. I guess I'll be blue coat. So yeah, um, I thought a lot about Hylix a lot and like, it's really the kind of game that I would love to make. It's a cool art game and it has a unique striking style, but one that's not exactly like hard to make. Not necessarily something that requires a lot of use. Is this Dr. Zaius? So I keep seeing this like snail version of myself here. Okay. And it looks like the bugs. A coin. This is weird. This is juice, cookie, empty. It's so oppressive, uh, high. Pools with fountains are linked to the afterlife. From there you can return to any pool. Is that me? Okay, another one of these things. And another one. Maybe they're natively from the afterlife. She ends up the stairs, or pulls past that. Welcome to the afterlife. So Helix One had a lot of interesting shakeups. Like, to be perfectly frank, it is a relatively bog standard RPG. You know, everyone takes their turn. These Wayne larvas have emerged. They'll be sent up to the house when their carapaces harden. Wayne Larvas. Interest. So Wayne is a type then, huh? Oops. Well, that's not what I expected. I'm afraid of drowning, although I don't know if it'll do anything. I mean, I'm in the afterlife. Do I just get double dead? I feel like this isn't exactly clay anymore. I feel like this uses a little more CG, but that's probably okay. Clean me's respite from bad statuses for a little while. Please go ahead. The bath. Cool. You look weird, bro. I'm using this one. Find your own. See, so yeah, the. Like, there was a really interesting idea that dying was the only place that let you level up. Because when you died in High Lakes 1, you went to the afterlife. Um, and it didn't even kick you to a game over. It just put you in the afterlife. To the Wayne house, please. Um, and only in the afterlife, after dying, could you spend your, your levels. And that's an interesting idea. Because it means that... Um, 
Ones. What are these things? They look like the sages or those weird statues. Another soul sponge. Another one of those. I'm excited to be playing Hylix too, y'all. More Wayne's. I heard that TVs bestow the technique of gestural combat. Yeah. One of them. Paromer Bleb. I think Bleb is uh, a misspelling of bubble, but also just a way to say assist. Back when the accretion hit, the strongest gesture was buried. So if I see the word accretion again, I'm going to... Hmm. See, so yeah, there's multiple wanes then, I guess. There's an army of them. Starts to come out with a timely slap to gain a, a brief will bonus. Talk to Old Wayne on the roof. He had a task for you. Interesting. So I guess Wayne must just be like a cool guy. Old Wayne says we've got to be revving in case Gibby's reconstituted. Comments can be avoided by rolling. What did I do? Okay. So what do I have? Disillusion. Looks like a debuff. <laughs> Instant. Dark sign. Um, and a heal. We got two bones. After years of training, of course. Weird. See, it wasn't really clear what, like, the plot of Hylix 1 was, just because of all the weird randomness that it had. Because, um, I mean, I say randomness, but, like, I don't mean as in, like, lol, Z, OMG, so wacky. I mean, like, the game script was literally randomized, so, like, that mountain, I think of it as being called Mount Muzinorma. But the name of it is actually randomized every time you play. Um, what the fuck? And the things that Gibby says is also randomized, but it's the same kind of like system of threatening you. It's just the specifics of what he actually speaks are different every time. Um, I don't know if that's the, the case here. So I guess like the lore is now almost maybe even retroactively that Gibby was an evil guy and that this is the Wayne that killed him maybe. Stars forecast a flourishing of prescribed gestures. Gibby's agents work to reconstitute their master. I'm always a fan of games where like just the plot is they're trying to bring back the old guy from the first one. Like Zelda 2 or Castlevania 2. It's probably intentional. Proceed west and seek her ally Blairall that he might be forewarned. The others haven't completed the training, so you will go alone. New Moldal. He'll, he'll aid us in combating Gibby's agents. Interesting. Oh, cool. So this just goes back here. So how do I leave? So I guess Wayne is like a species. I always assume that like Wayne and Gibby were supposed to be like brothers. Because Wayne um, sounds like a waning moon and Gibby sounds like a gibbous moon. And they both have large yellow heads. And Wayne's looks like a crescent moon and Gibby's looks like a... I guess just like a round one. Like a full moon. One of these guys had something to tell me. 
Yeah, I did. Maybe now I go up here? All right, this is the bathroom. Hmm. It's as mysterious as I remember. But yeah, the first game is a pretty standard, like, RPG Maker RPG, and, like, that's fine. I'm okay with that. I like RPG Maker. I will say it is something of a, like, not quite generic, but it's not very, like, unique in most of its combat. It just looks really cool. Which is fine and valid, you know? Style over substance. Burrito. Oh, it's like a messed up Wayne larva. Meat? I guess it is. It is, in fact, meat. But I believe this man's name is Mason Lindroth. He's the director. I say man, but I actually don't know. I just know of Mason as a traditionally masculine name, but no guarantee. Um, and he made a couple of other games, and then Hylix was a kind of big game that he worked on. Um, and then, of course, that one got a sequel. So can I have you send me to somewhere else? No. Well, then I don't know where I'm going. So I guess, like... I don't know. I guess Wayne's become, like, a weird legendary hero. Maybe it is supposed to be, like, a, a Zelda thing. I kind of always got, like, a classic, like, video game sense from Hylix. I don't know if it was intended, but, like, maybe it's just all the 90s in it, you know? It feels like this could have come out on the PS2 and been like, whoa, cutting-edge graphics, look at that stuff. Because the uh, the Neverhood come, came out on PS2. And that was another game that was made with Clay. Uh, with Clay. I love Claymation as, a, as an art form. Oh, maybe it's that thing up there. I actually used to make them as a kid. I haven't made one in years since uh, at least my teenagers. My teen, my teen years? You know, since I was teenagers. I'm going to talk to you, old Wayne, once more. Come up on your plant there. West. I guess west is to the left the perspective is a little weird here can I jump on you oh, his tail has got one as well this is just plain damn weird my man I don't know what to tell you Do I have to change my clothes back? That's all I can think of. Maybe I just have to, like, mash myself into the left side of the screen. Unless there's a door I've missed in here. <laughs> I'm stupid. Don't mind me. Um, normally they would have like a, like a, th I guess I'll just have to learn. That's how this game works, you know? And we got the overworld. Wayne cannot swim. So that's the Wayne house. Can I get like random encounters in here? I would love to see that. Who are you? Those who possess new metaphor may cross the sea north to Vuax's edifice. Yeah. 
Yeah, thought so. I wonder if those are uh, also randomized. Because it might just be that that like weird grimy way of speaking is just the Hylix charm now. I've been playing so many games with constructed worlds recently. Because what am I playing? Right now on the channel, I think I'm playing uh, the original Bionicle Mata Nui game to the west is... I see that there is a city up there, but I want to explore. What is this? This is kind of gross. This might be a, a, a sage, one of the three sages. I remember that from the first game. Yeah, I think they've had to use... Uh-huh. I think they've had to use some 3D uh, models to, like, cheat the uh, the angles. Because otherwise it would have the same, like, rigid camera angle that RPG Maker does. Which is fine, but... Whoa. Bananas. I found a banana. I'm gonna walk into this guy and see what's... Your foes assemble. Feral Hydrostat. Galliform does a gizzard spike. Oh, I'm dissolute. It looks like you defend after you heal, which is good. Spume. They give me so many weird words so early on. Still got the melting face. Who, oh, man. Okay, I'm back. All right, I uh, I just cut the recording there a little bit because I wanted to skip through it. I didn't cut it earlier because I wanted to like I wanted to make sure that I wouldn't miss anything early on. But at this point, I'm just backtracking because I died, so that's fine. I kind of expected to die. I think I got killed pretty hard. Okay, there should be like a big name pop. Load times aren't great. Maybe there's something, maybe there's more than I, I'm letting, than the game itself is letting on, but like, Omori ran pretty well. What are you guys? Oh, there's a new fountain. Okay, I don't know how to unlock it, but I'll just assume that it's unlocked. Hopefully I don't have to like sink all the way into it. Long ago, Lord Gibulus wisely ruled this land. That pr prosperous era was cut short by wretched anarchists. Weird. So our crumb would draw like the inside of a blood vessel. All happened so suddenly. Vuax's troops abducted the cafe owner. Without coffee, we'll be defenseless against spores. Alright, I guess spores just... died at caffeine. That's the thing about Hylix. There's a lot of things that you just have to, like, roll with, you know? You just have to accept and be like, okay, that's what we're doing. This is... So this is kind of a shock to my system. It's weird to be back in Hylix again. 
Not in a bad way, though. Actually, okay, that'll be a shortcut door. Okay, this is bad. <laughs> what? What is that? Is that someone giving the finger? Dock key. It looks like they made Wayne a little more handsome this time. Like, I know that he's like a big, like, moon faced man, but like. They made his face and, like, his features a little more, uh, like, obviously appealing. Like, the fact that his head is like a weird, misshapen crescent roll does uh, detract from his shall I say like traditional standards of beauty I always kind of got the idea that Wayne was supposed to be like a slacker you know like he was a schmuck in the first game because you when you uh, loot the first um, thing that has money in it it says it's your life savings and it's only $57 or something they're doing that big excavation in the southwest. I tried to get a closer look, but I was whomped by galliforms. Me too, bud. Uh-oh. Okay, I guess we'll come back to that. Anyway, I always got the, like, the implication that Wayne was supposed to be a slacker. And uh, what's her name? Some Snum Snona, I think her name is. Knows him, but they both have very passive lives. Because Snum Snona just like hangs out on her couch watching TV all day. Uh, and Wayne appears to not even do that much. I think he has like a garden, but that's about it. Heat me, oh son. <laughs> Hello? The Hylothems are fondos, frondos, the harvest time's upon us. The fronds are obviously valuable, but it's important to trim them anyway so you don't get pullmen. A frond is a kind of plant. Sometimes you find them too late and you just have to tear them out before they turn bad. You hate to see that. If you just leave them too long, they become or attract pool men. Hylothems, they're highland rich cave formations. You just hearing about this now? G glove lathing, burrito synthesis, all starts with hylothems. Gotta find a rich vein, translates to a lot of bones, a lot of bones. Anyway, yeah, I like... So yeah, like, I assume that Paul, uh, Paul. Wayne and, and um, Snom, Snom Snona are like both like just slacker layabouts. Um, and that maybe Wayne was also like the brother of the king. Because Gibby's the king and they have a similar appearance. And um, like it's just hard to make guesses. I, and I might find out in this game. Another burritos. What are you, bro? Oh. Oh, the motion blur is really weird. All right, let me see here. Cave Sinist or Tyro. Much better. A lot flashier and classier this time as well. Tyro departs. Interesting. Top me off there. Glaive arc. Eight bones and one meat. Looks like a lot more meat than that, my fan. Man, this is weird. Okay. 
Back on that old dusty clay road. Oh, there's Coignies hidden in here. I have some juice. Take this key. You can use my monitor, it's got soul crisper. House key. Soul crisper. That's probably a move, right? You can use my monitor, you can use my TV. And TVs have moves. That makes sense. Also, yeah, the implications of being a couch potato and like just being a shitty layabout and watching TV all day might mean something different when you're, oh, I can probably hop on that other button. I'll follow this and see where it goes because that down there probably won't have changed. But yeah, the implication of being a layabout is probably like way different in a world where like you're taught things through TV. Mm. I see. Up makes me think that it'll lead me out. And it does. It leads me to here. Okay, so that means that I can then use this to explore the rest of the underground. Cool. So are there, like, Gibby, like, sympathizers? Because that one guy was, like... Nice. Nice. Because that one guy was like, oh yeah, Gibby was a cool guy until some punk killed him. Okay. Soul Crisper. Yeah, I feel like I could definitely make like a Hylix, like, maybe not a fan game, but something inspired by it. So is this the city I'm looking for also? I cannot tell. I haven't been in here yet though. Oh man. Data Smoln, how's it going? No, I am Smolden Day. Data Smoln went north across the ocean chasing rumors of active cabinets. Sage used cabinets to guard artifacts, perhaps even their long-lost gesture, most fallen into disrepair. Datus Moln went north to Viewfax Edifice, seeking a cabinet from before the accretion. So I believe the accretion is when Gibby fell. As a meditation term or practical, our bodies became superfluous. Makes sense. I mean, in the way that Hylix makes sense, but you know. When the accretion buried the sage's great ship, Dislarn Moon, my wife and I were stranded here on the surface. Oh, they were moon people. Oh, is Hylix about lunacy? I don't know if I already knew that. But yeah, that would be why everyone has like a moon head. Well, I say everyone, but two characters. Boots. Flesh and speed. Nondescript boots offer a modicum of protection. I do really like playing RPGs. This one still has a relatively classic feel. Whoops. So how do I get up there? Oh, I can keep going. Oh, but it drops me down here. Okay. Well, I'm going to go and check the rest of that area before I go back inside. Or maybe I'm doing the wrong thing again. I kind of assume that these might be bugs that I want Stomp's known to kill. Slapping bugs is a great way to store your flesh and will. Try it out. I don't know how to slap. Hmm. Okay. And then this, I think, leads just back up to there. Yes, it does. Okay. It looks like we got a little platformer in here. 
Let's see what this guy's up to, huh? An impassable force field surrounds Odozer's fortress. I'd wager they set up a worm remotely for the purpose. That's how I do it. Snemoldi. Man, this is... I mean, it's Hylix. I don't really know what I expected. The graphical upgrades are kind of a swerve, though. Those are new. Not Those are not what I expected, in fact. Like, the idea that we would get a third dimension and be able to platform and jump and stuff is weird. I don't know if I need... What the hell? Cathomite husbandry... Husbandry... Brought us prosperity, but made us target a target for opportunists like Viewfax. Viewax. Wasn't I? Was I supposed to be looking for him, or am I fighting him? Okay. This bridge looks important. This is a very detailed area. What's up, cuz? New view acts with Petraeus, villainous slug. Chief Flareol is not in the moment. Feel free to go in, though. Okay, I'll look over here first. Okay, then I think this just leads back up. There really should be more clay games. Again, the load times are really, like, weirdly long. Hello. Sir Pangorma, what brings you to New Muldol? The tri cushioned chair lies vacant. Lord Blairell's been abducted, taken north to Vufax's edifice. Old Wayne seemed sensed prescribed gestures and sent me to warn Blairell. He must be recovered. Just so, and I've scoured fresh Dumetaphoras to facilitate our journey. I trust you need no instruction. I think they went over that other way now. Give me that. Yeah, we got the crew now. So it looks like they made Pongorma's like face or helmet or whatever smaller. Or he just doesn't have the helmet on. C, huh? So is, does that mean that Z, X, and C? Okay, so it does. So yeah, ZX and C. Oh, Z is sprint as well. None man to the treasure room so long as I remain here. It's like a real ass like glove slap. I like how it leaves little after images too. I wonder if we're gonna get the whole crew back together then. All right, I'm so blown away with this that I have forgotten what Pungorma told me to go do. Whoa. Oh, God. Okay. Okay, well, now that I have it, I remember that I should probably go quick dash over that thing. Upper house key. Damn. I'll get more practice with it elsewhere. Just as I suspected. Long gloves, material mitts, pleather gauge, and tendril hand. These have lore, weighty hand gear, as was deployed in the conflict at Amulam. 
combat pleather, good batch. A standard gestural combat garb. Uh, and the people of Malsatel shun lathing, and for gloves rely on other processes. These are different. Let's get out. Okay, cool. Oh, he has these already. Neat. A dubious berry. Is this that chair that they talked about? The important chair? Yes, I think that this is just a shop. <laughs> That's janky. I'm not sure if they should have made it like that. Well, man, I am, uh, the addition of air dashing is weird. And then more this way, I guess. Wait, crap. Mason Lindroth takes drugs. I know that it's like such a stock thing to say, like, whoa, you know? Like, you see the slightest thing outside of your periphery, like, this guy must be on crack! I'm like, is he? Or is that you, you know? Is it that you just can't imagine anything? So anyone who makes something with, like, some... Hey, we can step on this now. Cool. Anyone who makes something with any sort of like originality or, or nuance to it, like, must be on drugs. In new Muldol. Okay, so I missed him, but he was he must be the guy that tells me that I'm in Muldol. Right, let's go get killed again. Very, very different. Okay, and let's try one of those sooner guys as well. Because I'm thinking that part of my problem might have been because I just dashed, like, really far in and then only tried to fight on the really, really hard guys. I'll bleb myself. Gizzard Spume. Wow, that's a lot of damage. Silamvog. Looks like everyone has the same glove animation. Shatter, huh? I'm vulnerable. Okay, hopefully that'll defend me. Okay. Well, I think that should do for a first episode. Uh, I've been Alfred. This has been Hylix 2, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, thank you for coming. Bye.